minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to thank and honor the brave men and women who have served our country's military. As we approach Veterans Day, I would like to especially recognize the more than 800,000 veterans who call Pennsylvania home, including the 56,000 who reside in my district, Pennsylvania's 9th. Pennsylvania's 9th is also home to the Army and Air Force National Guards at Fort Indian Town Gap. Throughout our history, our forefathers, forebears, family members have put service above self in defense of our freedoms. They have fought to preserve our republic, to promote righteousness, and to protect our homeland. And when fighting overseas, the only land we asked for was enough to bury our dead. Our veterans fought for us. It is now our duty here in this House to work for them. Since coming to Congress, we've enacted legislation like the PACT Act, the Blue Water Navy Act, and more, all aimed at expanding veterans' benefits and ensuring veterans receive the medical care they have earned. This weekend, let's thank, let's honor those who have served as we celebrate Veterans Day. I yield back.